So this project that I'm in there is called Beta Blocker. It's a 7A and I'd seen online someone describe it as really good if you're shorter and hate grit. <laughs> so I was immediately interested. Um, how would you describe it? You start on quite a nice ledge with both hands and you get a really high heel which doesn't feel like it should work but it works really well and you bump up through a series of crimps and you get all kind of scrunched up like this and you're going out right for an undercut and then it's just quite a taxing kind of squat feels like quite a deep unstable squat um, and then you're just through to some like I wouldn't really call them drugs they're droppable but they're like nicer holds towards the top and then you're done um, I tried this yesterday it was one of the last climbs we tried and it took me a little while to figure out what I was supposed to be doing on it so I think I wasted a fair bit of energy and then we lost the light fairly quickly so um, 7A is kind of like the very limit of my grade. I think I've only ever climbed 7A plus once and I think that was debatable. <laughs> so this would be like kind of up there with the top of what I can kind of climb. So I'm quite excited for it. I think I can see it coming together. I feel quite good about it. So I'm starting on this ledge, which is quite nice, well it's, it's really nice actually, but it has to be nice because then I'm getting a left toe in the back wall and like getting a, this heel up there, which feels like, well it feels silly but once it's there it makes sense. Then. Uh, I roll through with my right hand into, I can't quite reach, but there's a really good like side pull in here. And then I'm going out into, I can't, I'm not describing this real. I'm going out into like a T-Rex hand, it's like holding a kind of crimpy pockety thing like this. Um, I'm trying not to think about how injury prone that is and then what am I doing I'm getting a right toe on here I'm getting really scrunched up and there's some crimps kind of like further up the wall and an undercut and then you end up standing on this for the top come on Those holds, like the first lie back and the dinosaur hold, are the kind of holds that when you get them right, they feel really, really good. When you get them just off, you're like, no, that's not, kind of throws you off a little bit. But when they're in really good, they're, they're in really good. <laughs> I think on the go that you just filmed then, 
my shoulder like span quite a bit. I like started rotating. <laughs> Just got bitten by a mosquito. It was better getting my toe up, but I just fell off balance going for the little side pull, the next side pull. I felt like if I could like get my um, like my left toe underneath the, the wall here, just for like a little bit of. Toe, it was a heel. Who knew? I try and um, try and show you some of the moves. Well, not the moves. You've seen the moves. The holds. So it helps to kind of like give context to what the moves are like, maybe. Please with that though. Seven A's aren't like, I don't climb very many of them. <laughs> so I'm always very, very happy when I do. And um, yeah, it just feels good because it's like at the, at the top of like how hard I climb or can climb. I feel like I had a good battle on it, but I'm pleased that it felt like the strength was there it was just like well I don't know if it actually it feels very beta dependent and very like um, like pretty much my first half of the first session on it I was trying all sorts of weird stuff until I asked some guys here last night and they were like no you stick a heel in first so 
as soon as I did that, I felt like I'd unlocked what I was supposed to actually do. And yeah. Did that make sense? Yeah. 